Copenhagen, capital of Denmark and the largest city in northern Europe, is a gay and hospitable metropolis, now in the throes of modern development, but rich in the records of a kingdom dating back through a thousand years of history. Over one-fifth of Denmark's population is concentrated in Copenhagen, the only large city in the country, and here has been developed through centuries of time the architectural records as well as the manners and customs of a people who have contributed much to the stability and progress of the white race. For the Danes of today are among the descendants of the courageous Vikings who carry the torch of civilization to the darkest corners of the ancient world. Greater Copenhagen has a population of about 900,000 inhabitants, and it is estimated that there is one bicycle registered for every three persons. Consequently, bicycles overrun the city and provide an interesting spectacle especially for the automobile-conscious American visitors, who may be of the impression that bicycles in metropolitan cities are a thing of the past. But this is not the right hour of the day for the real bicycle parade. We must wait until the various places of business close. And then we will see a demonstration of bicycle traffic that has no parallel in any other of the world's great cities. Meanwhile, our attention is attracted to picturesque settings along the canals in the older section of Copenhagen, where the fishing industry provides an interesting feature of the city's daily life. Copenhagen means Merchant's Harbor. It was originally a small fishing village, and much of its ancient atmosphere is preserved in this section of the city, where the fishermen come in daily from the sea with choice cargoes of fish, which are sold in the market nearby. Incidentally, there is no abject poverty in Copenhagen, and much of this may be due to the fact that all citizens of Denmark, who are deprived of the means of support, receive a pension from the government after their 65th birthday to the day of their death. This may account for the expressions of peace and contentment that one finds among the poorer classes throughout the whole country. The flower market is composed of trains of auto trucks which come from all parts of the country and converge here in street-like formations, displaying a beautiful assortment of colorful flowers which may be purchased at most reasonable prices. Down by the sea, there is a famous little monument known as the Mermaid, and it is one of the chief attractions for most visitors, as well as the pride of Copenhagen. The model for this unique image in bronze was a beautiful young Danish actress. It is the work of Edward Erikson, and it represents one of the characters in the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. Here we behold one of the most famous fountains in the world, regarded as the masterpiece of the sculptor Anders Bungard, and it depicts the legendary incident of Gethian plowing Zeeland or Denmark out of Sweden. The Danish government encourages open-air life for its people, and Bellevue Beach is one of its many popular summer resorts.
Denmark is an agricultural country, and practically all of its precious acres outside of the cities are devoted to the cultivation of farm products. In the suburbs of Copenhagen, we find attractive little plots of ground which are divided among the working people who choose to spend their spare time cultivating tiny gardens in a country atmosphere where the flag of Denmark unfurls itself in evidence of their patriotic fervor. And now we return to the city to witness the Copenhagen bicycle parade at its best, for most of the business of the day is over, and the whole population seems to suddenly appear on wheels. Parking and repair stations are scattered about the city, and it is logical to assume that the repairing and cleaning of bicycles is a profitable business. It is difficult to understand how one bicycle can be distinguished from another, as they all look alike and there are often as many as a thousand bicycles lined up at one public parking station. Nevertheless, it seems to present no problem to the owners, who nonchalantly choose their bicycles and enter the grand merry-go-round as part of the business of the day. A majority of the workers live in the suburbs, and Copenhagen, being a city with very few hills, is naturally ideal for commuting on bicycles. We find represented in this unique parade tradesmen, policemen, postmen, babies, government officials, doctors, lawyers, and numerous others, all wheeling along in a round of traffic that is admirably well controlled. Automobiles appear to be very much out of place here, where cyclists have the right of way by an overwhelming majority. And so the day comes and goes in this city of bicycles, which unconsciously presents to the outside world panorama of modest and simple life, shared alike by all classes, bringing the art of living to a standard that is a credit to the Danish people. And it is with this thought that we say, farewell to Copenhagen. Copenhagen.